So hello friends, welcome to Front Lightness Academy and this is our first lecture for the history sessions and of the topic civilization. Well, let's start the video. So what is civilization? Civilization is any complex society that is marked by the characteristics of a developing state, a stratified society and a symbolic system of communication beyond the natural language or the natural spoken language. So these characteristics can be of dense urban population, dependence on agriculture for feeding the populace. Next can be a systematic hierarchical society as we see nowadays. Next is monumental buildings and so on. So let's See the history of human civilization. So, what led to this? What led to the human civilization? How humans formed this civilization? We'll see that. So, as humans developed from primates into Homo sapiens, the first Homo sapiens were hunter gatherers, and the usual later lifestyle of nomads or nomadic lifestyle, that is shifting of their habitat from one place to another with change in climate or change in availability of natural resources. So for example, if a certain group of people is living in place A, so if the conditions of place A, suppose the temperature goes down or the food shortage occurs, so they will find a place, let's say it as a place B, where they have a suitable temperature and they will have abundance of food. These were just two of the many conditions that lead to the nomadic nature of humans. But this nomadic lifestyle changed after the last ice age on earth was over. So by the end of the last glacial maximum, humanity settled out into more permanent settlements, mostly around river banks. And these settlements evolved furthermore into more complex settlements and by 3000 BCE by 3000 BCE what could be described as a civilization came to appear on many parts of the globe or we can simply say many of those permanent settlements those complex permanent settlements evolved into a civilization so, what is the difference between settlements and civilization? So, let's see the difference. A settlement can be defined as simple as a group of people living in a particular area working together for their own survival. Whereas, a civilization can be defined as a complex set, a complex settlement that has some particular characteristics like a dense urban environment, a social hierarchy or hierarchical social structure, monumental buildings, written form of communication and heavy dependence on agriculture for the food of their population. So let's note these points. First thing, a dense urban environment. Second is social hierarchy. is written for communication for is monumental buildings and fifth is dependence on agriculture. So all these factors differ a civilization from a settlement. So let's see some major ancient civilizations. 
So to name a few, let's see first Egyptian civilization. Egyptian civilization. Many of the students might be knowing about this Egyptian civilizations and the pyramids of Egypt. So from this civilization, we can confirm a thing that monumental buildings are evident for a civilization. Second is Mesopotamian civilization. So you might have studied this Mesopotamian civilization in your school days and Mesopotamian civilization was known for its written texts. So when the excavation was done in Iraq, so Mesopotamia is a region in Iraq, when the excavation was done, so written text was found and on the basis of those written texts, information about this civilization was found out. So written form of communication is also evident. So third is Babylonian civilization. So this civilization was found in a region called Babylon and Babylon is found in today's Iraq. So Babylon was known for its wealth in those times and it was also famous for its hanging gardens and Babylon had a quite good governing system and there is a book called The Richest Man in Babylon where we can study what was the culture of Babylon. So Babylon had a quite good social hierarchy like there was a king and then there were priests and then there were ministers and then there was a common population of laborers, farmers and all. So from this civilization uh, we can see that social hierarchy is evident for a civilization. Next is Mayan civilization. So Mayan civilization, this is found in Mexico and it is named after the Maya people which used to live there. So the thing about Mayan civilization is it was a very widely spread civilization. So, that confirms the next thing that is a dense urban environment. So there were n number of cities in Mayan civilization. And even nowadays, many of these Mayan cities are yet to be discovered. And LiDAR scans are going on and each with each new day, new discoveries are being done in regard of this civilization. And next is Indus Valley civilization. From the name, we can make out that this civilization was settled down near the Indus region or the Indus river region. So this civilization is based in India and Pakistan and the border region of both the countries. Some of the sites are found in India, some of the sites are found in Pakistan. So one particular thing about Indus Valley civilization is that on various sites it had buildings for storing grains or granaries. So these granaries confirm that in the Indus Valley civilization agriculture was done on a larger scale so that the people of that time had to store their grains and the grains were in such large quantity so they had to build such large granaries. So Indus Valley civilization confirms that a civilization needs to have a dependence on agriculture. So that was all about civilization and in the next lecture we will learn about the Indus Valley Civilization. So that's all for today students. Jai Hind.